Now, yesterday, the Shadow Secretary of State for Digital Culture, Media and Sport, Lucy Powell, posted a picture on social media in which she was wearing a T-shirt with the words, Never Kissed a Tory. And this was at the Manchester Pride March. Paul, was it a sensible fashion choice? Have you ever worn a Never Kissed a Tory T-shirt? Glad you didn't ask me if I ever actually have kissed the Tory. I was tempted, but I didn't know if you'd answer. No comment. Um, <laughs> I, look, I like Lucy. I, I think she's a good MP, um, but I think this was a bad move. I mean, I don't think we should necessarily get out of our pram over it, but it was. It did smack to me a bit of student politics. It, it's not the sort of thing I don't think that uh, a professional politician in a party that aspires to lead the country should engage in. Bearing in mind she's quite a prominent senior MP mm -hmm. in the Labour Party as well. Um, and I just think, look, when you do this sort of stuff, you have to think, who am I trying to appeal to here? Am I just trying to appeal to my base or do I need to appeal to a much broader layer of people because, hey, we want to win a general election? And the truth is, if Labour is going to win a general election, it is going to need to win over thousands, millions of people who voted Tory last mm -hmm. time. And you're not going to do that by giving the impression, frankly, that you, that you hate Tories. So, so a bad move by Lucy, I think. Mm -hmm. And Arlene, what, what did you make of it? I guess on the one hand, it's maybe trying to engage younger Labour voters to have a bit more of a kind of fun image. But for me, it was just juvenile. Well, it's juvenile and goes against uh, what uh, Pride is supposed to be about, which is to be inclusive. Um, and it's also concerning to see uh, at the Pride Parade in Cardiff, for example, the police actually stopping some lesbians from marching because they had a different point of view from others in the parade, which I think was um, quite telling, is it not, about the state of uh, LGBT at the moment. Um, but in every, I mean, it's juvenile. She shouldn't have done it. She's a shadow secretary of state. Um, and I think anyway, she should amend it to say never knowingly kissed a Tory because are you seriously telling me that people ask uh, in, in nightclubs and what have you whether uh, what their voting preference is before they snog them? <laughs> Things might have changed since I was in a nightclub. <laughs> well, these days, I think you have to wear a lanyard, don't you, that states kind of your political allegiance when you enter, just to make sure it's a safe I, place. I always keep my Labour Party membership card with me. I'll just display it in case anyone's particularly deserved. I bet that's good for pulling that, isn't it, Paul? Like? I, shouldn't, I shouldn't say that as a married man. I'm talking, <laughs> about, I'm talking about years gone by, obviously. Yeah, 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 of course. Well, I there we go. Say no respect, trust, trust, love. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, certainly not a T-shirt that I would be wearing because Tories are fantastic. Tories are fantastic. And I would say very good kisses as well, but maybe I'm biased.